Hey, what is up guys? So I got a pretty awesome replay of Auro Mages facing off against uh, some Mermel Atlanteans. Now, this guy maybe has the better idea of just mixing in Plant Synchro with Auro Mages rather than just playing pure Auro Mages because I don't think pure Auro Mages as of right now with just their four monsters can really stand alone as an archetype. Maybe they're more of a splashable archetype, but you know, obviously Draining Shield but not going Plant Synchro wouldn't make any sense. But uh, Super Solar Nutrient, pretty awesome card. He's just going to go ahead and Lone Fire into Lone Fire into Lone Fire into another card. He goes ahead and brings out Jasmine because Jasmine plus Draining Shield is actually a really good card. Plus it lets you get an additional normal summon of a plant monster. Then he's going to go ahead, one for one the Atlantean Prince. And uh, let's see if he goes for the OTK play. He's going to go ahead and pop Draining Shield. And he's uh, also going to get that effect of Heavy Imagery. He's going to pop the other card. So no free pluses with the Jasmine today. But the uh, Megalo won't be able to attack uh, because it was sent back with Compulse. And then he goes ahead and makes a Draco Sack over here. And he's going to go ahead and... Uh, Get some uh, 2,600 points of damage directly to his opponent. Look at his opponent. He's only got a Crane Crane and a Super Solar Nutrient. Spore activated. Going to banish Lone Fire. Crane Crane activated. Bring back Dandelion. Going to go ahead and bring back uh, Lone Fire with the effect of Levier. And then he's going to get those two tokens again. And then he's going to go ahead and have Librarian. Look at this play. It's absolutely amazing with the uh, Glow Up Bulb over there. And then he's going to be able to top deck into Regeki. And then get rid of everything except for Draco set because it had tokens at the moment Regek was activated. Now this is a really interesting card. Mirror Force is then activated. Um, I'm going to briefly pause it here to explain this card because this card, I don't think anyone knows what that is. I've never seen it. So anyways, um, it is a generic level 4 synchro monster and it has the effect of if this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, equip this card from your graveyard to that target. While equipped by this effect, that monster can't attack, also its effects are negated. If this card is equipped to a monster by its own effect and leaves the field, take control of the monster that was equipped with it. That's a pretty awesome card. Plus, it's got 2300 attack, nothing to laugh about. So I think it's a really good card. It's got so much utility. And the guy goes ahead and MSTs it, which I think is a mistake. He probably didn't know what the heck it did. He just saw that I couldn't attack with it. You might as well MST it. But he goes ahead and gives his opponent the Draco Sack, then Rosemary's in summon, uh, which uh, isn't really gonna be useful because um, well, I mean, you do have that effect where if your life points are higher than your opponent's, um, that your opponent can't activate anything uh, when you declare the attack. But uh, you basically want that effect once per turn. You get to target one face-up monster from the field and change its battle position. And um, that is if you gain life points. And he doesn't really have any cards to gain life points at the moment. But uh, he's going to go ahead and then have a Bergamot over here. He goes ahead and Draco sacks the back row, which is a Abyss Sphere. And that's going to bring out Lin. Lin going to bring out Abyssius over here. He's going to tribute one for Bergamot. And Bergamot does do piercing damage. And that's actually how he wins the game. But that was a really amazing comeback. Literally off of a Crane Crane. He was able to establish a complete board. Get rid of his opponent's board. Because, you know, Regeki's a pretty cool card. And then he steals the Draco Sack. So, I mean, I felt like it was more so Plant Synchro. And it's basically just showing off how amazing this other card is. I've never seen it or heard of it before. Great old one Haster. I think I want to make this in like every single deck now because that's got an amazing effect. Uh, and it is a generic, so anything can make it. Uh, maybe some like junk decks can start making this card. Because, I mean, if it goes away, you get to target one thing. And then if your opponent gets rid of the card while it's equipped, you get to take control of that card. That is an awesome effect. But anyways, thanks for watching. And thank you, Mr. Waffle Cat, for sending in this sweet replay of the... Uh, well, I don't even think it was really Auro Mages, let's be honest here. Well, I mean, he was trying to set up for that Jasmine play. Uh, with the Draining Shield, but it got disrupted by the uh, Marksman. Had Marksman not hit that and he gained uh, life points, he would have drew the extra card. If that card, uh, Jasmine, survived, he would have gotten an additional normal summon. So his plays could have extended even further off of that. But yeah, of course it got disrupted. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes, signing out.